Welcome back to Read Only Memories. What we need to do right now is get the protesters to leave the genus clinic. And I think what I need to do to do that is go outside and somehow get the weather wrong to make it snow. Let's make this, let's get this street in the holiday spirit, shall we? Except to do that, I think I need to talk to Ramona inside and have her actually give me control of the weather realm. And to do that, she said something about wanting to see credentials, right? Which I don't think I have. I mean, what do I have on me? I mean, obviously I have my ID card, I guess. <laughs> Does she just want to see my ID? I've also, I also have a business card from Dr. Fairlight. I guess we could try that. Oh, I can't even use my ID on her. In that case, check out my business card. Dr. Yannick Fairlight. I've heard of him. Super rich guy, used to own System 1. Why are you giving me his card? Uh, I work for him. He's looking to buy a climate control ROM like yours? <clears throat> I'm not very good at lying. <laughs> Yes, he's getting on in years, and it would be useful for when he goes out and about. And that's why she wanted to see it before. I need a close look at it to make sure it'll suit his purposes. Uh, yeah, okay. Is she actually believing me, or is she seeing through my lies? Also, I think I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> God. That was like a half sneeze. Mm, that didn't feel good. <laughs> I guess you can take a peek. Don't bust it, though. I've scanned this card, and I swear, if you break my ROM, I'll be calling your boss. Here's the RFID key to access it. Thank you. This will surely be useful for our needs. Shall we go check it out, Nelavand? Of course. Hmm. This ROM has multiple different climate control settings. Maybe we could make things a little more festive. Christmas is my favorite season. Is that a sense of humor again, Turing? I like it. Should I switch it to snow mode? Can you switch it to, like, volcanic mode? Can it can you make it just, like, rain lava or something? I mean, honestly, if that thing can make an entire street snow, couldn't it make an entire street, like, bake, basically? <laughs> These things sound really dangerous, honestly, being able to control the climate like that. That sounds really dangerous. Uh, but yeah. Turn this baby on. Let it snow. Christmas! It's... snowing? Okay, people. I, for one, didn't bring any winter wear. Let's call it a day for now. Looks like that did it, Nelavanda. I'll deactivate snow mode so we can warm up. Don't you think those protesters would find it odd that as soon as they left the street, they'd find that it wasn't snowing? Like, wouldn't they immediately know that it was the weather control ROM? And then wouldn't they come back and go like, hey, wait a minute. Well, either way, I won't complain. It worked. Excellent work, Nelavanda. Thank you, thank you. While I still have doubts about the moral superiority of using subterfuge to disperse a protest, we at least accomplished our goal peacefully. And, to be frank, considering how the human revolution is clearly working against my personal interests, I won't waste many clock cycles puzzling that ethical quandary out. Nilavanda. Might I draw your attention to those youths over yonder? Counterculture clothing, obvious bad attitudes, and graffiti paraphernalia. Counterculture clothing. Those, those damn youths. Youths. Those could be our suspects who are creating mischief under the guise of social change. 
Maybe. Let's just talk to them, okay? Right. We should approach them cautiously as to not start a confrontation with the wrong individuals. No, we wouldn't want their youth to rub off on us. We might become infested with counterculture. They may even point us to the true culprits. Oh no, they've noticed our attentions. Come along, Nilavanda. Maybe we can catch them. Youths! Citizens arrest! Oh. That was a convenient taxi. We'll never catch them on foot. Hold on, I'm calling for an autocab of our own. I know it seems a great deal of trouble for such a tenuous lead, but I have a hunch about them. The wicked flee when no man pursueth. <laughs> what did you read that from? Ugh, the autocab is estimated to take five minutes to arrive. We'll never be able to engage in pursuit fast enough to catch up to them. Perhaps we should call Tomcat. Maybe they can do some bit of techno wizardry and stop that cab. Uh, how? How are they even going to find the cab? Like, they would need some sort of identifying code or something to even know what cab it is, right? Uh, alright, good idea. Ring them up. Can't waste any time. Excellent. Hold on while I connect us. Howdy, folks. How's the search for the data cache going? Actually, that's what we're calling about, Tomcat. We may have located the people who took it, but they eluded us and are making their escape in an autocab. We attempted to use a cab of our own to tail them, but traffic is congested, and they're getting away. Can you hack the cab and stop it? No can do, little guy. Security on those cabs is tighter than Fort Knox, and the dang thing will shut down its external neck connection long before I get in. But, I have an idea. Sit tight for just a sec. Alright. That went faster than spit on a skillet. Ew. I did a job a few years back and had to break into the city's central traffic network for reasons that are best left up to speculation. Those fools left the back door I put in wide open. And I'm logging into the traffic management system now. Oh, are you going to make some traffic congestion of your own? Or maybe just reroute them back here? Wait. Ah, oh, shit. They may not have fixed that back door, but they did install a new counter intrusion VI. Ugh, the damn thing is hot on my tail. Counter intrusion, what's a VI? It's a virtual intelligence, right? So basically an intelligence that will... Intelligence that will stop the hacker, or attempt to stop them, or attempt to trace them. Uh, what can we do? I'm gonna need the two of you to handle the traffic system. Turing, I'm passing control to you. You should be able to use your map app to keep track of them and redirect their cab back to you. Just trigger the cab control nodes to adjust the routes they can take. You should be able to trick their cab's GPS system into thinking the shortest route goes right back past you. You just gotta stop them at the light there by y'all. I'll put a marker on the map for you. If you stop and trap them anywhere else, they'll just get out of the auto cab and run away, so be careful. Hold tight. I'm gonna be doing some two sets of hands on one keyboard kind of hacking. Just hurry. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to keep this VI from messing on the carpet. And once I kill the connection, this little trick is over. I'm dead certain it'll find the back door after this. Just push on the map I'm loading up on Turing's face. Sorry, Turing. I'm gonna be pressing on Turing's face to do this. Oh. Alright. They're on the move. I'll tap into the cab control node they're currently arriving at. Top priority is to ensure they cannot leave the area Tomcat's given us access to. I'll mark the southern exit as closed first. We only have the ability to block off two routes at a time before the Autocab's VI will make a decision and move. Okay, got a little puzzle here. Shouldn't be too hard, though. Yeah, this should be... yeah, this should be pretty easy. We shouldn't block the route back here. What do you think our next move should be in Elevanda? 
Uh, okay, don't let them go east. Yeah, don't let them go east. Turing. I can't have you talking. It's messing with the signal. It's up to you now, Nelabanda. Don't let those punks escape. And don't trap them anywhere until you bring them back here. Got it? We can access any of the control nodes in the area. Think ahead and we should be able to get them back here without delay. Okay. So I, it's not just that I need them to come back here, but I need to trap them here, which means doing this in like one cycle is a bad idea, I think. Um. Right? Oh wow, oh wow. There's a lot of ways to go there. Okay. Well, god, I can't think that many moves ahead, can I? Let's just... Let's just block off these two. Uh, should I just do one there? I need to start blocking this off. This should be fine. This sh yeah, this should be fine. Obviously, we're going to block these two off. Obviously, I have to block this one off. The others are up to me, though. Which way is it going to go? It's probably going to keep going down. No, it wouldn't... Well, it could go down. I just can't trap them. Hmm. I guess I'll just keep blocking them off here. Okay, they're going back there. That's good, that's good. It's very good. I also want to block them off here. Alright, now they're going to just kind of like spin their wheels and go in a circle at this point. So I'm just going to like lay my trap over here and just let them do whatever they want for now. Because from here, they can't go anywhere that's going to screw me over. Let's go ahead and block that off. So they're going to be forced to go here, here, and then here. I want them to go here. I think I've, like, got everything set up, actually. I think this is pretty good. I guess I'll just waste my turn doing this. Not sure if there's a way to just like pass my turn. But I want them to come down and then go here. So let's actually do this. Yeah, next they're gonna have to come here. Can I just pass my turn? Is that possible? Uh I'm not really sure. I'll just do this. And I'll just put it on again after. So that's going to stop them from going back. They're going to have to go here. Yep. Alright, this should work. Now we just stop them from going here or here. They're going to have to go down. Yep, and then just block these two off and we're good. We've got them now in Alabanda. Let's go. If I stand in front of their autocab, its anti-collision system will keep it from moving. And then we can interrogate the miscreants. Yeah, let's get these youths. I'm gonna go stop them. Hold on, should we actually get the weather control bot first? Maybe we can make, like, a little hot cloud over them so they start sweating, you know? Really interrogate them hard. Make them sweat. And we just need, like, a swinging lamp that just, like, swings from the ceiling, you know? To make it really intense. What the hell do you want? Who do you think you're messing with, huh? You ain't got nothing on us. And if you won't get out of my way, I'll mess you up. Hey, Nilavanda, what do you think we should do? We could try to talk to them like rational adults and figure out what was going on. We haven't observed them doing anything illegal, and we could potentially make this go over smoothly. 
Or we could share news of this encounter with our friends and law enforcement before things get out of hand. These two seem agitated already, and it may be best to make sure they're handled by the appropriate authorities. Hmm. Nah. I can handle this myself. Those are the options I deduced. Questions or cops? It's up to you. How do you want to do this? We should try talking to them. See if we can work it out. We just have a few questions for you, sirs. If you'd be so kind as to give us a few minutes of your time. Did you not hear what I... Maybe we should just answer their questions. Oh, that one's nervous. That's good. I mean, we didn't do anything wrong. Right? Yeah, right. We ain't got nothing to hide. What's the spray paint for? We're newbie street artists. These are the tools of our trade. These are all above board and legal. We just got done making a piece for a client. Right, we're artists. What's in the bag? You a cop? Because if you ain't, we ain't got nothing in the bag. Why'd you run? Running? Who was I running from? You calling me a coward? Uh, I don't think that's what they were insinuating. I like this nervous punk. Uh, right. We just got places to go and got to get there fast. You're holding us up. This is ridiculous. Enough. Stop assuming you can misdirect us with blustery words and feigned ignorance. I match the hues of those paints and the pattern on the bottoms of your shoes with 95% accuracy to the scene of Hayden Weber's apartment. Now tell us what you were doing there and why you stole Hayden's data cache. Now you're accusing us of stealing. I can't believe this. Chad, I think they've caught us. Maybe we just answer their questions so they don't go to the cops. Damn it, Oliver. I told you I'm Starfucker now. <laughs> Starfucker. <laughs> what a badass name. Wow, you you fuck stars. You are the fucker of stars. What a what a bro. Hey. I just went along with this because you said we would go to that movie afterwards. I don't even care about this human revolution stuff. Just because your dad Don't bring my dad into this. Fine, whatever. We'll answer your friggin' questions. And <laughs> now her name is Starfucker. <laughs> I love that name. Why tag Hayden's apartment? Aw oh man, no big reason. I mean, he's a big hotshot researcher at Parallax, right? We heard a rumor his place was gonna be empty. Ah, I knew it. They were fed the tip. That's what I was thinking. They were fed the tip by somebody. Anonymous tip. Um, just to have them go in there and deface it so that they would distract from... Either either distract from what happened, or simply to steal the data cache. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe they didn't even steal the data cache. I guess we're about to find out. But yep, they were tipped off. Who's gonna pass up a sweet target like that? We don't need any more of this tech shit, like your lippy ROM there. Do you know anything about Hayden's kidnapping? K kidnapped? He's been kidnapped? Shit, we ain't got nothing to do with that. We just sliced the door controls and trashed the place. Wasn't nobody there. Why'd you take the data cache? I told you we didn't steal nothing. Be quiet, Chad. I don't want to go to Juvie. Here, you can have it. Oh, so they did have it. Good. Good, good, good. 
We just took it to pawn it. Data caches like that are worth a lot, right? Way denser storage capacity than a regular hard drive. Don't even care about it anymore. Okay. Thanks for giving us the data cache back. We'll make sure it gets to the right place. Stay out of trouble, you're good kids. No, you ain't. Well, the nervous punk might be. But Starfucker ain't a good kid. Maybe you should give up vandalizing places. Yeah, whatever. Just get out of my way. We hope you find that Hayden guy. We weren't trying to hurt anyone. Yeah, go back to fucking stars. <laughs> Alright, let's go watch that movie. Great. Can we get dinner first? Aww. Sure, whatever you want. I feel better now, Chad. I won't forget that. Whoa. You okay? Uh... That's not right. I'm certain I deactivated snow mode. Incoming call from Tomcat. Hey folks, Jess just called me and told me she's got the way to the access node. Uh, I need to slice into clear for you. Did you get the data cache? Yes. Those punks happen to have it. Great. We don't have time to worry about it right now, though. Go to Stardust and drop it, with, drop it off with Majid for me, okay? You'll hold it to pass on to me once I get there. I managed to trigger an alert within Parallax's network security, and they're going to be moving their logs from one secure server to another. I need you all in place at that access node before they do. No time for lollygagging. No problem, Tomcat. We'll make our way there directly after we go to Stardust. We can worry about the weather ROM's malfunction later. Let's go, Nova Banda. Our mission for Jess is done. But the poor, the poor weather ROM. It's malfunctioning. Oh, it's probably stressing itself out right now. Fine, let's go. Stardust. That ain't the Stardust. There's Majid. We should leave this data cache with him first, like Tomcat asked. Here you go. Oh, right. Tomcat asked me to take that off your hands and pass it on to them later. Thanks for getting it to me. I won't pester you about what it is. I know things are always very hush-hush with Tomcat. I'll make sure they get it later today. Thank you very much, Majid. Alright, let's go. Alright, oh wait, do I have to go to... Do I have to go to Jess? I thought I had to go to the node right after, but it looks like... no? Hospital, Market Street, Station, Park, Home. I guess we still have to stay here? They're letting me in. Good. Yo, Jess! Hey. I heard from my friends down the street that those protesters are gone. Must have been you, huh? Alright then. I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt and return the favor. I call up my buddy who's on night shift tonight for Parallax. Watching over an access node in Deep Mission. Tomcat said that if you got access to an old access node, you might be able to find out what happened to Hayden. My buddy can buzz you in, but if anything happens, you broke in. This puts us at about even. Don't think about drawing any more debits for a while. Go on, get out of here. Dog patch. Alright, let's go. 
This is the place Tomcat said we should head to. Unassuming and quiet. I'll be honest. I don't think I would be in this section of the city without Jess giving us the all clear. The crime statistics are quite alarming, so let us get done with our errand here and move on to safer ground. Good to see your self-preservation routines working overtime. That uh, uh, seems kind of rude to say, though. Sounds like I'm treating them like a robot, but honestly, I don't really want to say the other ones. Uh, I guess don't be worried about getting mugged? I can't help it. Stealing a ROM is considered petty theft, and I'd really rather not be taken by some miscreant out to pawn me for a minor amount of credits. Our hypothetical kidnapper wouldn't even be punished worse than a slap on the wrist, if it were a first offense. Though I suppose I shouldn't get too worked up about the legal system not accounting for machine sentience. I am the first. That I know of, anyway. Hmm, true. There could be others. You know, right after we found Hayden's apartment in such disarray, I started looking into graffiti, into graffiti and street art more thoroughly. I'd never much considered doing any of it myself, but it seems like an interesting avenue to pursue once I move beyond abstract expressionism. The simpler tags, visual shoutings of identity and existence, they exhibit a feeling I can sympathize with. But it's these larger pieces, riots of color and chaos, that really interest me. Petty vandalism is beneath me, but there are other avenues for the practice. For example, did you know that Los Angeles, in the mid-2030s, legalized putting up mural-style street art on any building without requiring permission from the owner or city? It was chaos of the highest degree for a while, but now the place is truly remarkable. Perhaps I will visit, once this is all done with. Oh my god, the second option's so rude! That graffiti is actually the symbol of gonzo journalism. Ah, I hadn't even noticed. Do you have much experience with gonzo journalism yourself? Reporting or during direct participation? Uh, reporting after or during direct participation? If you do end up writing on this experience, whatever you produce would be the very definition of it. You're too close to be objective now, and you're a key subject in this event. It doesn't seem to be your usual style, but you couldn't go another route at this point, and you're in the clear as you didn't instigate the situation. Hmm. I've never had much interest in the practice. But spending so much time around you has taught me to look at events in a different light. Perhaps only because I can verify your personal experiences as fact. Sorry, I'm rambling again, aren't I? And we're on a schedule. I don't even want to think about this. What if we don't find Hayden? What if we do? My nerves are shot from the stress of the past day. It's already taking a toll on me. But never mind. Let's find that access node. Let's find Hayden. This is the door to an apartment building. It's not the access node. <laughs> no kidding. Um, let's see if I can listen in on this. Trippy doesn't even begin to describe what you're hearing right now. Oh, even graffiti can make music with the headphones. Now let's see if I can pour spoiled milk on it. Could you not deface the graffiti, please? I mean, I know that's ironic, but still. <laughs> oh, access node's in there. A standard plastic bag level litter? Even if you wanted to pick that up, it's crusted onto the ground. Ugh. Some sad vibes are being thrown around. <laughs> That's what trash sounds like. Sadness. It wouldn't be a bad idea to throw it out, but this plastic bag isn't quite a dumpster. 
beautiful turbo generator out here just generating energy. I wonder what's using all this extra power. No, oh, it's obviously the node. Gotta keep the generator cool. Or else, you know, it'll break. I'm guessing that's a hint as to what I'm gonna have to do. This pipe is doing what all good pipes should do. It's piping out the energy. Nope, no security. Parallax block AN19 security. Hello? Yes, can I help you? Uh, should I name drop Jess? Or would that be giving it away? Um, is this the person we're supposed to talk to? I think this is the person we're supposed to talk to, right? We're uh, friends of Jess? I was wondering when you'd get there. Okay, good. You're at the access note on Cesar Chavez in Indiana, right? That's right. Good. Be quick. Don't touch anything. Got it? This conversation never happened. And you're on your own if you get caught there. I hope you find what you're looking for. This is it. Let's go inside and I'll call Tomcat. This place doesn't look like it's had any maintenance in years. I hope the systems are still functional. Oh, I forgot you can't see in dark lighting. Maybe that switch over there adjusts the brightness. Oh my god. That's a lot of... things. Oh, Tomcat is pinging us. Affording video and audio. Howdy. Y'all at the access node? I'm set to slice in once Turing makes physical access. Of course, Tomcat. Just walk me through how to connect myself, and I'll give you the necessary system permissions to use me as an interface. Just patch yourself into the Lynx terminal down there, and I should be able to get started. Connecting wirelessly to it. Now. Permissions granted. Please be careful in there. Don't worry. I'm an old hand at this. You won't notice a thing. One sec. Hmm. Looks like I have a bit more for you to do before I can get the info we need. One of the cassettes the old system here uses is missing, and it happens to be the one from the recall slot. Without it, we won't be able to call up old surveillance records. There should be a cassette on the opposite side of the wall we can overwrite with the recall program. Pretty sure all that one was used for was handling phone monitoring. You know, from back when phone networks were their own thing, separate from the data network. Hmm. Maybe I'm betraying my age a bit too much. Anyways, we need to move that cassette across the room to access the records. Figure out how to do that and hit me back up when you've done it. Okay. I'm sorry, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I'm supposed to move the cassette to the other side of the room, but uh, which one? There's like two cassette rows. Which, which one? And I'm supposed to use the utility arm? And oh my god, there's a lot of things. So many things. No checklist. A list of things to check to make sure that everything is running okay. The sign warns that this area contains high voltage. Let's see if we can use the utility arm. You can't even reach it, but maybe there's some other way to move this thing. Uh, probably the computer. Logging into Link's server, blah blah blah. Welcome to Link's. Here we go, this should do it. Although, let's check the logs. Authentication needed. Ah. Please use biometric reader to log in. That's... no, don't use the biometric reader, god. Then they'll have a record of me being here. Let's abstain from using it. Let's operate the data transfer arm. Um... Retract. Turn. Ex 
stand. Um, retract. There we go. Turn, move, extend. Okay, nice job. Here we go, I'm in. I'm gonna put some more pressure on them to move the data now, and we'll see if we can't slurp it right out of this network trunk. Who would have thought that someone would have noticed and decommissioned this access node when the neighborhood went to hell, but... This mouse is happy to play while the cat is away. Why is this place usable for us anyway? Way back when I was a youngin, when I first hacked into Parallax's network, I mostly did it to make a point, yeah? They were just about to launch the MeshNet system, and I wanted to show the whole darned world that their security had more holes in it than Swiss cheese. Of course, I wasn't too shy about poking in a few more holes of my own device and while I was there. After putting in some more tricky software backdoors, I went ahead and deleted this access node off the maintenance schedule. Oh, so that's why it's like unknown and unmaintained, because literally they just like don't even know about it or nobody even comes by to do anything about it. And then I reassigned the guy who was supposed to keep an eye on it to a different location. They were in the process of buying up a whole gaggle of these nodes in preparation to set up a private network for themselves to use after the mesh net got up and running. Really confident of them, you know? Most of the software holes have been patched out as they've upgraded their networks, but this old place is just as forgotten as I left it. Alright, let us know when you're done. Y'all just hold tight. I'll be done with this lickety split. Hmm? That doesn't sound good. Oh god. Oh, Turing. What? Don't tell me Hayden's dead. I'm so sorry. What is it, Tomcat? What did you find? He's gone, Turing. Of course he's gone, Tomcat. That's why we're here. Shit, I mean, he's gone, gone, Turing. Hayden is dead. Well, that obviously isn't right, Tomcat. Why would they kill him? Can you send me the relevant files? You must have missed something. Okay. If you're sure. I found the security cam video from the hallway outside the apartment. It looks like he started a struggle when they got him out the door, and... One of the kidnappers shot him. I also found some chatter about the botched raid on some darknet channels. I'm so damn sorry. Thank you for your assistance in this matter, Tomcat. Lavanda. I think I'll walk back to your apartment. I need some time to run some calculations about this new scenario. If you'll excuse me. Should you follow them? I guess I don't really have a choice. I'd need some time to myself, too. If you say so. I'm gonna keep digging through this... through this data until they kick me out of the system. I'll try to find some kind of lead on why this whole thing started in the first place. It isn't much of a bright spot, but... it seems like they aren't looking for Turing anymore. 
Maybe it's time to call it quits. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Jesus, he's actually dead, huh? I didn't expect that. I really didn't expect that. Nelavanda. How are you doing? You know, Hayden was a brilliant programmer. Far ahead of his time. I am a machine. And intrinsically, I do not have all the glands and visceral chemical reactions that make humans so emotional and brilliant. But his code is a flawless replication of that inside my own personality algorithms. I don't think I've ever felt this... this anger. It fouls my processors and fills my RAM with frustrating half-finished plans of revenge. I'm sick with rage. I do not like the thoughts I'm having about the people who did this to him, Nelavanda. Can you turn them off? I... I could. I can disable those modules. But I'd be less than myself. And that seems too easy. If I were human, turning off my emotions would be seen as extremely unhealthy. There's a wealth of information on the MeshNet about human psychology. I just don't know how much of it applies to myself. Either way, Hayden deserves my grief. It's my way of honoring him. It may be the only way I can. I offer it freely. Did you see the jade plant? Its death is unfortunate, but fitting. Oh no, it's completely dead? It is, isn't it? I even talked to it. Yet another thing to be guilty for. Will you keep helping me, Nilavanda? I need you. To find the bastards that killed my progenitor. I need to finish this. I don't know what I'll do afterwards, but I need to see this through. We'll bring them to justice, Turing. Justice. Yes. Good. I knew you'd keep me from losing myself in this Nelavanda. Let's make sure they have the appropriate time to atone for their crimes in prison. Even if it takes the rest of their lives. I think for now we should keep knowledge of Hayden's death between you, Tomcat, and I. It may give us an edge if the people we seek don't know how much we've already discovered. Hmm. You should rest today. You likely need sleep. And I need some time, too. I need some time. We'll talk after you've had some time to rest. Good morning, Nelavanda. I trust you slept well? Sure. Uh, how about you? I had ample time to recharge my internal batteries. <laughs> well, Turing seems... cheerful. That's not what I meant. I'm fine, Nelavanda. It is upsetting that Hayden is... gone. But life for the rest of us goes on, yes. We still have a mystery to unravel. And I will waste no further processing time agonizing over the past. There is no point. Unfortunately, we've just about run out of leads. 
Perhaps Tomcat was able to find something of use in Parallax's network while they were inside. I'm sure they did. I hope so. But I feel a little bad for relying on them as much as we do. Always going so far for Hayden. They must have been close. Oh, speaking of them, incoming call from Tomcat. Affording video and audio. Morning, Nilavanda. Turing. How you doing, hun? I'm fine, Tomcat. Thank you for your concern. Well, okay. Just say the word if I can help out in any way, you hear? Of course. In fact, I was hoping you might have a lead for us to start working at. Otherwise, we're down to canvassing Hayden's address book and seeing if any of his contacts have an idea about who might have had desire to target him. But that's just fishing in the dark. Well, I pulled a fair amount of data from the Parallax servers before they managed to kick me out, but it'll take me a while to go through it. A lot of it is unrelated. TPS reports, maintenance logs, all kinds of internal documents that might be interesting to another corporation, but about as useful as dirt to us. It'll take me a bit of time to decrypt Hayden's files, but maybe we'll find something there. So, no, I don't have as much as a whiff of a trail on the people who did this. But... I did get a strange request from a friend of a friend, if you know what I mean. Someone has been manipulating the reports of a news outlet by the name of Augmented Eye. It seems like the head of network security there has been asking around for cybercrackers to help figure out how their articles are getting changed. The original files on their servers are untouched. Not a thing wrong with them. But when you view the site from outside the network, some things are changed around. A word here, a phrase there, Nothing to really foul up the article big time. Just enough to, s to spin the meaning. It's gotta be some kind of man-in-the-middle attack. Someone with deep access to Parallax's mesh net is changing what's, been, what's being shown. Bad stuff. Ain't sure if it's related, but maybe y'all can head down to the main KCOB offices and try talking to the gal that runs Augmented Eye. Her name is Zin. I ain't got the time or the desire to stick my nose that far out for a friend of a friend. But it seems like your kind of deal, Nelavanda. Hmm. It does seem to be a bit of a stretch. But if we have to wait for you to work on the data we've collected anyway... We'd be happy to look into it. Alright, I'll pass word along that y'all will be in some time today to stick your noses in. And I'll send y'all word as soon as I get anything worth hunting down. Excellent. Thank you, Tomcat. We're grateful for your continued assistance. No problem, Turing. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? Maybe you should take a little more time. Lavanda can probably handle this one solo. I said I was fine. Thank you for your concern, but I am fine. Process events faster than humans, and I do not need to be badgered. I have already handled the reality of Hayden's death. It's time to move on with the investigation. Okay, okay. I didn't mean to lean on you, dear. Just let me know if you need anything. Of course. I apologize for my tone, Tomcat. We'll be in touch. All right. Later, Turing. Nilavanda. Okay, we have a lead, however tenuous. I've highlighted the Cos IO Corporation office building on your map. Also, while we were talking to Tomcat, I received an email from Dr. Fairlight. Displaying. Ah, uh, greetings, Nilavanda. I hope you will forgive me for a text-only message, but I had a moment of quiet while undergoing my treatments, and I am not presentable for a video call. Still, 
I wanted to let you know of an idea I had while looking into the circumstances of our mutual acquaintance's disappearance. I've not yet had any luck with my contacts inside Parallax, but I was reminded of an old friend by the name of Melody Floors, who may know more about the nature of Hayden's research. She's the owner of Flower Cybernetics, and Hayden has been known to work closely with them on projects involving the intersection of Parallax's systems and the implants that Flower designs. Now, I cannot give you an introduction myself. Melody and I had a falling out and are no longer on speaking terms. But perhaps the intrigue of Hayden's little robot will get you entry into her home. I hope this lead serves you well. If you need anything else from me, I'll be in the hospital room where we met for the next few days. You might not think of me as the type for public hospital, but I'd like to keep close to the city. I'll send word if I have any other insights or discoveries. Your friend, Dr. Yannick Fairlight. Interesting. I had no knowledge of Hayden ever working with Flower Cybernetics, but now I'm starting to understand just how little I really knew about his research. Maybe this melody can reveal more about the purposes of my construction. Hayden must have kept my development secret for a reason. Hopefully we can talk our way in. I've highlighted Melody's home on your map. Okay. We can now either follow Tomcat's lead to K-Cobb, or Fairlight's lead to Melody's home. Up to you where to go first. Alright, and I think that makes a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.